Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. This is your Aston Villa versus Manchester United preview. It's this Sunday, the 6th of November. It is a 2 o'clock kickoff. And it's at Villa Park. Manchester United are coming into this game on the back of a 1-0 win against Real Sociedad in the Europa League. It was away from home. It was Manchester United's final game of the group. Obviously, Man United failed to top the group. Uh, Man United needed to win by two goals to top the group. As you all know, Manchester United now have to play a playoff game to get to the last 16 of the Europa League. Uh, the goal against Real Sociedad came from Ganacho. It was his first senior goal for the club. It was a good finish as well. Revert back to... Six months ago, Ganacho scored twice in the FA Youth Cup. Ronaldo got the assist for the Ganacho goal. Uh, Manchester United won the last league game against West Ham 1-0. Uh, Marcus Rashford scored a header in the first half. It was Marcus Rashford's 100th goal for the club. Uh, Manchester United have got players missing. Uh, Raphael Varane, he's still out with injury. He came off injured in the 1-1 draw against Chelsea. He's got a fine injury. He went off the pitch in tears against Chelsea. Uh, Martial has recently picked up another injury. Martial played no part against Real Sociedad. He's had a good four injuries this season as Martial. Tuan Zerbe is injured. Um, he don't get in the team anyway. Uh, don't forget last season he was out on loan with Villa. He's enjoyed free loan spells with Villa. Brandon Williams is injured, but he's another one that don't get in the team. Last season he was out on loan with Norwich. Anthony's injured. He missed the game against Sociedad yesterday evening and he also missed the 1-0 win against West Ham. And Jaden Sancho is out with illness. And Bruno Fernandes is suspended for this game against Villa. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, as you all know, lashed out following the Real Sociedad match. Uh, Bruno Fernandes has urged Man United to stay positive after unsatisfying win at Real Sociedad. And he also spoke about Ganacho. He said... Ganacho needed to improve his attitude. Uh, Manchester United drew with Aston Villa at Old Trafford last season 2 2. With it also 2 2 at Villa Park. Aston Villa, they lost their last game against Newcastle 4 0. Recently, Aston Villa appointed Unai Emery as their new manager. Aston Villa paid Unai Emery's €6 million Euro release clause. Before Unai Emery was at Villarreal, uh, don't forget he won some Europa Leagues. During his time at Villarreal. Before managed Arsenal. He was Arsenal manager for around 18 months. Um, he managed Sevilla. Um, and he won Europa Leagues at Sevilla. Uh, managed PSG before. Uh, before managed Spartak Moscow. Uh, managed Valencia, he also managed Almeria and managed the Corto Deportivo. So they're the clubs Unai Emery's managed in his managerial career so far. 
Not so long ago, Aston Villa sat Steven Gerrard. Uh, before Steven Gerrard, Aston Villa had Dean Smith and Aston Villa sacked him. And then obviously when Dean Smith got sacked from Villa, he went to become the Norwich City Manager. Uh, the players Aston Villa have got, they've got the likes of Bubakar Kamara. Now, he's out with injury at the moment. Diego Carlos, um, he's been injured. Augustinson, um, he's out with injury as well. Uh, Villa have Danny Inns. Um, Aston Villa signed him from Southampton, Ollie Watkins, he's a former Brentford player. Leon Bailey, um, he's done really well at Aston Villa. Aston Villa got him from Bayer Leverkusen. Cameron Archer. Marvellous Nakamba. Ezri Konsa. Philip Coutinho. Uh, Coutinho's done really well at Aston Villa. Before Coutinho was at Barcelona. I think wasn't he on loan at Bayern Munich as well. Uh, before Coutinho played for Liverpool. He enjoyed five and a half years with Liverpool and did really well. Uh, at the time, Liverpool did get Coutinho from Inter Milan for around £8 million. And then obviously five and a half years later they sold him to Barcelona for around 142 million. Uh, Morgan Sanson, Villa also have him. Tyrone Mins, um, he's a very good centre back. Lucas Digny, uh, Aston Villa signed him from Everton for around 25 million. Callum Chambers, he's a former Arsenal player. Ashley Young, um, he's obviously in his second spell at Aston Villa. If he was to play in this game, he'd be reuniting with Man United. You know, Ashley Young did endure around eight and a half years at Man United. I don't think he'll start the game, no. The goalkeepers Aston Villa have got, they've got Immanuel Martinez, um, he's injured at the moment. Robin Olsen, who they got from Roma, and they've got Jed Steer. Uh, let me put into the equation that Aston Villa have lost players. Uh, don't forget they lost Anwa Al Ghazi. Uh, they lost Jack Grealish to Man City. Uh, Man City, though, did get Jack Grealish for £100 million. Uh, They lost Matt Target to Newcastle. So there are some players that Villa have lost. And don't forget, last season, Villa had Axel Tuan Zerbe. On my um, next video, I will be giving you my predictions for this game. But Man United are in form at the moment. Man United are now unbeaten in the last, what, eight or nine games in all competitions. The last game Manchester United lost was a 6-3 defeat to Manchester City. Eric Ten Hag, got to give him a lot of credit because I think he's doing a good job as Manchester United manager. You know, this is his first full season. I did mention that Eric Ten Hag does need time.
like I said, Tenag's expectations this season will be to get Manchester United a top four finish. If he could win the trophies, well, that'd be even better. You know, Man United have not won a domestic trophy since 2017. You know, Eric Ten Hag, earlier on this year, got named Premier League Manager of the Month. He replaced Ralph Rangnick earlier on this year. He's under contract with Man United till 2025. He's Man United's fifth permanent manager since Sir Alex Ferguson. You know, Eric Ten Hag so far has made six signings as Man United manager. Man United have spent over two hundred million this year. You know, Ten Hag's also let players go as well, but despite that, he's still inheriting players from other managerial eras. And obviously, you know the news regarding Marcus Rashford. Manchester United want to extend Marcus Rashford's contract by January. Admit PSG interest. Rashford's contract at the club expires next year. And, you know, you know the news regarding De Gea. Uh, De Gea will accept a major pay cut. To stay at Manchester United at the moment, De Gea earns around three hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds a week. So now, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do consider subscribe as always, and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.